Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today it's day two of Group A for the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour on Lake Okeechobee. It's stage two. I'm gonna head down south, uh, check out Okeechobee, check out check out and see some of my friends and some of the anglers, ask some questions, and try to uh, pick up some maybe some helpful hints and tips. But you never know. So I'm gonna head to Okeechobee. If you've never been to Okeechobee, it is ridiculous big I mean super big um, and there's all they've had all sorts of problems we've had a cold front come through the last couple of days it's been insanely uh, windy but today yesterday afternoon and today it's starting to warm up but it's also laid down so hopefully this afternoon they're gonna catch some more fish and I'll be able to talk to them about that so hang out enjoy the ride we'll see you soon let's do this man So while I'm driving, I want to remind you, if you want one of those free buffs from Southern Fin Apparel, I'll put a link in the description below. All you gotta do is pay for shipping and handling. It's a free buff. You pick out which one you want and they send it to you. It's like four or five bucks, but it's a great free little thing that they just want to offer people that like watching Fishing Florida Radio. So check it out, Southern Fin Apparel. I'll put a link below. I don't know if you want to see me driving, but you might get some clips right now. Classic champion winner. Let me first off say, unbelievably classy letter that you wrote about not getting back. Thank it you, just thank was you. really good. Thank you. Uh, I wish I could take all the credit for it. I got to give most of that to Jenny. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. Between Jenny and JD Blackburn and uh, and a little bit of input from me, we, we yeah we come up with that and uh, you know just wanted people to understand where we were at and uh, you know what was going on. How was today? How was how was the first the first two days of fishing? Man, my first day was okay. You know, I, I had seven scoreable fish and had you know had over twenty pounds and really had a you know a pretty fun day. I got in an area where I knew there were fish and I just fished the whole day and uh, felt like I had a good grip of what was going on with the weather we had and everything else and was able to generate bites the whole day. Yeah, um, only had seven over two pounds. We probably caught twenty five that day. Today, I, man, I struggled to get bit at all. Um, really? Maybe only caught six or seven fish the whole day. Um, and yeah, just a really, really hard day. So a little bit I felt like I had figured out and I fished more areas today, other areas that I'd had bites. Um, still got bit in some of those as well as the area that I fished the first day, but yeah, just a much harder day. How does the two pound, now the two pound scorable thing affect your fishing? For me, it, the biggest thing it did here was it kept me out of the rim ditch. You know, other than that, it's not really affecting the way that I'm fishing. I, it, had we been able to, to score one pounders, I probably would have spent a lot of time in the rim ditch cranking, trying to figure out some type of bite in there. Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of fish in there, and there, you'll catch an occasional big one by all means. Yeah. But you can catch a lot of pound, pound and a half, up to two pound fish fishing in there. But with that two pound minimum being in effect, it basically just put me in the lake and made me stay out there the whole time. You made the cut, now you go, you wait two days. What do you do tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, hang out and, and just, me and Jenny might go fishing somewhere. I might take her. Stick Marsh? Stick Marsh or Kenansville, somewhere like that. Stick would Marsh would be really good. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah, yeah. But are you gonna change anything for two days from now? Not really. 
you know, not really. I don't think I will. Obviously, we can't. I can't go back on Okeechobee and look around any, you know. But um, you know, I did see something this afternoon that uh, that I think could affect my next day. But I mean, nothing too much that I got to go back and it won't take me that long to rig for or anything. Well, we're happy you're healthy. Thank you. We're happy to see you. Yep. And you're still our boy. Thank you. Even though I still think I can outcast you. <laughs> Probably can. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Atavo. Yep. Oh, social media stuff. Yes. What is it? Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, just look up Ot Defoe. There's no, there's no other Ot Defoe. Yeah. Shouldn't be anyway. There isn't any. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Gerald Foyer, how are you? Good. How was your day today? You know, it was fantastic because uh, I started the day way down. I only had two pounds, um, you know, after the first day. And today I went and caught four bass for 15 pounds, like a little over 15 pounds, and squeaked into the cut, 20th place. What did you change from the first day to, the, to today? Well, the first day I just had an execution problem. The wind was blowing so bad. It was really hard for me to connect with those fish and get them out of the cover. Um, today I went back to that same area. I was really confident in it, but I didn't get a bite. So I had a good plan B in place, and I was pretty confident about it but I really wasn't sure what the results would be and uh, I decided at a certain point that I just need to try a whole new area and I went over there and caught four key fish in that area and was able to make the cut. So I never asked anyone this all the times I've done all these things and it just it just this just came to the top of my head when you're on that 20th border and there's give or take 10 or 15 minutes what's going through your head? Are you oh, are you crazy. are you constantly asking for updates, or are you? Do you slow down? Do you, does it make you speed up in fishing? What happens? Uh, well, it just depends. In that area I was in, I was kind of learning it as I was going. Yeah. So I had actually about 30 minutes left, and uh, I kept asking for updates. I was like, "There's no way this is going to hold on." <laughs> and the further I got in my area, the worse it got. I started running out of water. And I didn't know whether to keep going or to turn around and backtrack. And so I was just kind of trying to fumble my way through this part that I had never seen before for the last 30 minutes. So my duration of being on that bubble lasted for like 30 minutes. So I had to. It, how stressful is that? It was really stressful because I'm thinking I'm out of water. I don't know what to do, whether I keep going or turn around, and then, uh... Lo and behold, you make it. Lo and behold, I make it. How does the two-pound uh, weighable fish affect your fishing now? It, it's good. I like it. It's, I, I get to slow down. <laughs> Is that what it takes? It's yeah. slowing down? I get to slow down. Now, are you going to change anything from today to, what is it, Tuesday do you... F yeah, Tuesday you fish. Yes. Are you going to change anything in your fishing between uh, now and know, then? Yeah. I got I got to look at the wind forecast oh. and uh, and see what's going to happen over the next two days, and then who knows? I may go to another completely different side of the lake. We in the cut now, so yeah, we've been paid. <laughs> <laughs> what is the bait of choice for you? What what are you throwing? Uh, I caught everything today on a speed worm. Oh yeah, but I was flipping a missile baits D bomb. Uh huh. Um, but I couldn't get the flipping thing going today. And then I was, uh, another big bait for me in practice was uh, a Gorilla Swim Jig. It's uh, my signature series swim jig from Beast Coast Fishing. Okay. And I was pitching it in, in, in and out of buggy whips and um, as a white swim jig. And they were eating that thing pretty good, but they kind of, I guess with these this frontal conditions, they got off of it. When, it. when it's windy like this, how hard, isn't it really tough to pitch and be accurate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the problem the first day. The wind was probably blowing sustained 30 miles an hour yeah. out the north, and uh, maybe 10% of my cast went where I wanted them to go. <laughs> yeah, that really stinks. Okay, social media, website, all that stuff. Yeah, so social media is at Gerald Spore Fishing. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, Twitter as well. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, also Gerald Spore Fishing on YouTube. Check it out. Thank you. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Kevin Van Dam, how are you? Doing good, man. How come you don't smile when you see me? We've known each other long enough you can smile. Yeah, it's just a stressful day. I'm, I'm good. I made it through the day. How, how Today was stressful for you? What made it stressful? Uh, at the end, it, it ended up, you know, getting pretty close there, and I was struggling to get bites and, and uh, just you know know that the cut line was changing real real fast and was able to you know i was able to squeak through but it, it was not an uh, easy day it's it's a lot nicer when you have a good cushion at the end yeah what what make other than the wind and the water dropping 
how tough was this the last two days of fishing for you? It, it was really uh, brutal. I mean, that's one of the strongest fronts that uh, that I've seen ever fishing down here. You know, I mean, the wind was 25 mile an hour sustained. Um, you know, fortunately, the only way we could fish is because we have a trailering policy where we could go to different areas. Otherwise, you you wouldn't be able to even get out that day. I mean, it was uh, one of the roughest days that that I've ever been on the water out here for sure. And you know, but it it made it it made it interesting because it was the first day, and I was still able to catch some fish then. Today, I mean, these Florida bass, uh, the temperature just dropped so much. The water temperature did with that north cold wind. Uh, that it really shocked them and, yeah. and they were funny biting so I just didn't they didn't uh, they didn't understand my plan that's for sure was there something was were you trying to make noise or were you, what, what was the key to catching them today uh, you know for me I caught mine on a swim jig okay um, and that it, it just takes them they got to be a little bit reactive to do that and it, it was you could tell they were off because i had a lot of them miss it a lot of them that weren't trying to weren't getting like it just hit good. the tail yep just just short striking it slapping at it not fully committing to it like they normally do so it should get better though yeah the the weather's gonna get better what do you do on your day off tomorrow you have the day off do you just chillax do you try to learn new no, things i've got a i've got to rig on my tackle and and do all that so, you know i'll just i'll get things around do some laundry yeah um we always have media obligations and things like that so, so how did how did the two pound the new two pound squirrel bass I affect think you it, i think it's uh, it's an awesome rule i mean it it forces us to target big fish. I mean, you fish differently. Uh, definitely down here at Okeechobee, there's a lot of pound, pound and a halfers. There's certain areas you can go and still catch a lot of them real shallow. And um, it, you just don't even do that now because it's not gonna do you any good. So it, it's a, I think it's a really big improvement. Nobody wants to see us come to Okeechobee and target one pounders. Yeah. So, so we're, when you got a two pound minimum, that's a really nice fish here. That's way above a, a legal keeper. Um, you know, a two pounders this time of year with them post spawn, as many of them are, you know, that's 16 or 17 inch bass. You know, I, I, I caught some nice ones that were 115s, 114s, and I'm like, man, that thing surely looks two pounds, and it wasn't. So I think it's a, a really good improvement. Did you catch a lot of bass? I mean, this is known for big bass, uh, but. Today I didn't. The first day I, I really caught a lot of fish. I caught a lot of non scorables, uh, you know, those fish that were just below two pounds. But. Uh, it's got a lot of big fish in it right now. It's just the, you know, the grass and the hurricane and things like that. It's just kind of coming back. It needs a, a good year to, of stable water to, for the grass to regrow, and, and this fish, this fishery just will bounce right back. Well, congratulations. Good luck. It's always nice to see you. You know, I think you're the greatest of all time. I'm like the well, biggest fan of all time. You know that. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll see. I, you know, like I say, it's it's good as being first today almost uh you know i didn't don't move to the championship round but i get another day to learn out there and hopefully i can put it together well and uh and make it to that final round and have a shot to win i'd, I'd love to i've never won on okeechobee and it's a place that uh, I've, I've always really liked but i've struggled with the changing conditions yeah and uh, i feel like i've learned a lot so we'll see what i can do this week good luck man thank you thank you Brett Height, the king of chatterbaits. Let me repeat that, the king of chatterbaits. How are you? Oh, I've had a better week than this week, but uh, you know, that's just fishing. It's tough out here. Yeah, yeah. It, it, practice is pretty good until, uh, you know, water temperature drops 20 degrees and, uh, you know, we have 30, 30 plus mile, hour, uh, mile an hour winds for two days. It's just uh, not the conditions you want here on Lake Okeechobee. Yeah, where did you end up finishing? Uh, last. Oh, dude, and you're using a chatterbait? I would have thought the chatterbait would be the key out here to, this week. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was. I'm, I'm sure guys caught him on it, so. When you started making what I call the greatest chatterbait of all time, the jackhammer, how long did you work on creating that with Evergreen and, and getting all of the things that you wanted in it to make it right? Uh, it took about two years, a two year process, just uh, a lot of different prototypes and just trying to get it uh, to, to run the way we wanted and, and make sure it caught fish. It is, that's, a, that's two years a long time, but did you go to them and say, hey look, I, I think I can make this chatterbait better? Is that, how, how did that whole process work? Yeah, exactly, yeah, I, I knew I could make it better. You know, I had a, a couple of little ideas and how to tweak it to make it better and uh, we just implemented it and obviously made the best one out there. 
Hands down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry you had a bad week out here. That's like I said, that's fishing. You know, I, I, uh, I was around the right ones. I just couldn't get them to bite. Let me say from all fans that use a chatterbait, thank you. Because I believe, and I've said it a million times, the jackhammer is the greatest chatterbait ever made. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, it makes me feel good. It, it is wonderful. Okay, website, is it brettheight.com? Yeah, but follow me on Facebook or, uh, or Instagram. Uh, Instagram, they're all Brett Height Fishing. You can check it out. Awesome, thank you. Yep. <laughs> We're talking you and I. <laughs> Shaw Griggs to me. How are you, sir? I am doing great. Doing great. It's a, it was a fun day on the water. I got to mash some fish, you know, catch them and, and catch some quality fish. I caught a four, 410 or something like that, 411. It was nice, you know. Uh, the first day of competition, which was Friday, I lost a four pounder by the boat and I lost about a uh, two and a half that you set the hook and it nicks him you know and then he jumps to show you hey i'm this big and wave down and <laughs> i'm like you son of a gun but it, it uh, it's been a good it's been a good tournament so I'm, i think i'm in the top 10 i'm fishing on uh tuesday yes for, to make it and the cool thing is is that they zero the weights which means if you make this cut which i did you have a possibility of winning it you have a good day on uh on uh, Tuesday, you can advance to the top 10, you get the top 10, and you got a shot at winning. So it's about catching those big fish, and it's really a, a big fish quality deal. How has the, the two pound, the new two pound scorable affected your fishing? It's, I don't think it's affected my fishing. I fish the same regardless. It has changed the, the overall, you know, deal. And, yeah. And that means that uh, you know, with, uh, with the one-pounders, and I'm not saying they'd have killed them here with one-pluses, but um, it seems like the score tracker moves so much faster and it, it just, it just kind of gets you where you're, you're moving. Um, this one is much more subdued, like, you know, I can do this, I can do this. So it's really tightened the field up. It makes it where you have a, a, a pretty good shot. Um, you catch that quality fish and, you're, and you've got a shot in there. You're the only one I can ask these questions to, by the way. How do they, is it a, a group that you guys come up with these new, these new rules in the off season or how so, does it work? It does. So we have an, a board, a 10 man, or sorry, eight man board and each of them have 10 anchors. So that's 80 anchors uh, or nine others, him and nine others. And so, um, and then if you have anything that you feel needed to be changed or that you would like to see changed, then you bring it up, we all hash it out, and then we vote on it. And what's really cool is that this is the first time that the anglers control their own destiny. I, I, I am stunned, literally stunned, to see people trash or bad mouth this, this organization, Major League Fishing, because it has given so many more anglers the opportunity to move up in this sport and it is bringing so many more eyeballs. We, our ratings are nuts. So we had um, almost a half a million unique viewers at the last event. Half a million. You follow. Half a million. Remember that. 477,000 unique, unique stayed and watched. When we had our show that aired, and it wasn't what I call spectacular, our show that aired on Discovery, it started here and kept climbing all through the two-hour deal, and it was over 200 and like 11,000 viewers on each show. You're, you're talking what we have done is crazy good for the sport. It only helps every single, what are they, what's the old saying? A high tide rises, floats all boats. It's good for everybody. If this organization doesn't make it, us, which we're doing quite well, but if for some reason it didn't and you got these people bashing it, you're left with nothing. You're left with being somebody else's puppet, which is what we've been for 50 years, and you got no say in anything because it's their business and their money. Yeah. This you got to say, so these guys make their decisions, their first decision they made, they go, well, if we got this budget, how about we don't pay an entry fee? And they worked out, a, they sat at home with pencil and paper and computer and worked out a payment schedule. We all voted on it and went, we're good. No entry fee. You don't see that in any other league. You don't see that anywhere else. I'm just like, 
I am so, so thrilled. I've never seen more happy guys in my life. Oh, they rushed off to get away from me today. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. You kind of rushed by me, too. Uh, We're pals. No, I, I was in, I'm, I'm in stress mode because i got to film tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Well, I, I'm glad to see you made the cut. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty neat, especially in my home state. Yes. I think you could do really well, especially zeroing out. Is it going to change your fishing on third on Tuesday? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much planned on doing the same thing. Um, I, Are you I throwing that lure that I just looked at? Don't be Am I not allowed to look at the, Was I not allowed to look at that lure? Is that what you're throwing? Everyone. That's my favorite thing. Everyone. I'm the king of that. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> I, would, I would show it, but I don't want anybody else, because I'm going to put this tonight. I don't want anyone else to know. Right, well, if you looked at the sizzle reel that was posted on Facebook uh, Friday night, it, it tells it all. I well, went, oh, I'm using this, and it shows everything, and they put it up there. I went, oh, well. I got it. This is a, I've never asked anybody this question either. How come when you talk to anglers, and it's the middle of the tournament, and the media comes and says, I'm throwing this. They don't, not that they don't tell us the truth, they go, well, I can't tell you the certain brand. I mean, I can show that, I mean, you don't mind. I mean, but why Why is there such secrecy on what people are throwing? Like, people start putting their, their rods away before they get to the boat dock. Yeah, they, they prefer that, now, see, in this thing, we can't get any information, so, uh, we're not supposed to look at any video. We can't watch any of the yeah. live or anything because you don't want, you know, what Jacob's doing to influence what yeah. I'm doing and me to learn off of him. What we're trying to do is you're supposed to do it on your own. And that's very neat about this, uh, this you know, this Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. So, you know, people put things up. They don't really want you to see everything. Now, the other side of it is that we're trying to promote the sport which is the biggest thing we're trying to grow you know what i've got i had a show the other day just off track real yeah quick, that's right we, we're off. always off track you and i don't ever do anything no, we don't know what a track is <laughs> anyway i'm at a show and he's going yeah I, this guy comes up to me and said man i love this major league it's just the coolest thing the bass pro tour and he goes he says i'm in my office and i'm watching it i got on live oh yeah and he said one of my co-workers walked by and goes what are you watching and he said, well, it's, you know, Major League Bass Pro Tour Live. And, and uh, so he stops and looks at it, and then he's going, man, that's really cool. Then he starts to watch it. Guess what? He went out and bought him a bass boat, a ranger boat, started fishing, and nice. is now in, in doing bass fishing. I'm going, how cool is that? Because you don't see that anywhere else. Here, this is exciting. This is, it's like a NASCAR race, and, and this guy's ahead, then this guy's ahead, and this guy's on the cut line, and, he's, and it's just so intense it's amazing what it's doing for the sport and that's what we're proudest about now back to your question of why is it secrecy why is it secrecy because we're not supposed to get help so we kind of but it, I mean, this is me like yeah you you should not have an issue with that exactly i had one i don't want to say who but they put the lure away and i went i kind of went with the, my camera real fast and then i thought oh, I, I now it. i can't no, I, I couldn't show it. <laughs> You're too honorable a guy. Well, I felt I felt guilty. <laughs> I, you want to know what the problem is? I didn't feel guilty later on because I thought to myself, shit, I should have put that on. <laughs> okay. Go see his all website, Instagram. Are you on Instagram and Twitter? Instagram, I'm Twitter, on... and Facebook. Facebook By the way, you family. finally accepted me as a friend. I didn't have. Well, see, the only you thing only allowed you so, were allowed five thousand. Yeah, so I've been maxed at five thousand for years, and so what? Every now and then, somebody will drop out, or you know what I've done? I've gone back through and I start clicking people out yeah. that are no longer or that have some, like a business deal. I don't want any business. Yeah. So that's all, and that's on my personal page. But I try to take everybody. Yeah. Hey, I got in, finally accepted on the personal you page. You heard our buddy happened. My buddy the other day. What happened? Grandson. Somebody tripped him playing basketball. Broken no. Wrist. He's in a cast. It is blue. I saw some pictures of him the other day. He's grown up way too he fast. He, he, he. Please tell him I said hello. I'll do that. Okay, Shaw agrees with you guys. Thank you. The stud. Am I allowed to call you that? Hey, hey I don't know. <laughs> hey. hey. Jacob Wheeler, how are you, dude? Man, I'm great. It's uh, it's great to be down here in Florida. Uh, had some had some rough conditions the last couple of days, really, for, uh, for Florida fishing, 20 mile an hour winds and all that stuff. So guys have it's uh it's been a struggle but uh 
and it's good to see some good weather. That sun came out today, and it made a big difference. Congratulations on Lake Ufala. Thank you, man. It was, uh, it was a special event, no doubt. Uh, it will definitely be one I'll never forget. When you have, when you do, when you win over and you follow, you come to Okeechobee. Your confidence has got to be super high. Does that help your fishing? Uh, confidence is everything in, in, in bass fishing. I feel like you just, you just, when you get in little grooves, it's like momentum on, in, with a team in basketball or anything else. You feel like you can just wherever you go, you can catch a bass. You know, and I think that. Um, you know that's a big thing. I, I try to research and prepare for every single event. You know, like it's like it's my last. And and uh, Okeechobee have a lot of history on it. You know, but it's it's always changing. That's what's so great about this fishery. It's a Florida fishery, which the grass dictates so much. That's all it's about for the most part. Um, at least this time of year for this fish to pull up there and have clean water and spawn. And so you know, I I do think it really does matter. I definitely think that the momentum that you have from events, from event to event, when you start getting on a little bit of a roll, um, that's a huge deal. What What's been working for you the the, the first two days? Because you made the what did you finish in sixth or seventh? Yeah, so I've caught almost all my fish swimming a jig this week. Okay, um, that's I mean I caught maybe like one on a basically like a, a single type bait like a goon bait slunker log. Yeah. Um, then, but other than that, I basically just swam a jig around and. Um, that's how I've caught a couple of really big ones in practice. I also have got on a, a pattern pretty good in practice, but the conditions really haven't set up for that yet. Um, man, I'm hoping, and I've caught multiple five pounders doing that. So I had like 25 pounds one day in practice. I know that, like, you know, shoot, I know that you can catch them out here. There's so many big ones to be caught. It's just everything has to line up for certain areas of the lake to set up right. Is it going to set up for you on Tuesday? I don't know. I have to really look at the weather. You know how the weather is down here. I mean, shoot, one day it's going to blow from the west, the next day it's going to blow from the east, it's going to blow from the south. I I, I, I really, um, if the wind direction gets right, I think I can catch them. I just don't know. I have to look at the weather from Tuesday and see. I definitely think they're going to bite. I mean, yeah. it's going to it's gonna take more weight. It's, fishing's getting better. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the best thing about it is the fishing is getting better and better. Um, and I think that that's what, I mean, it's going to take a lot more weight to make that top eight guy, the top eight guys, you know, for the final round. How does the two pound scoreable bass this year change the way you fish compared to last year? Um, you know, I, I think it, you know, it, it's, it's a variable weight limit, so they, the minimum, so they could go back to a one pound minimum potentially. They could, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, so they can go back to a one pound minimum. Um, but it's, it's, it's good to have, you know, so like we might have tournaments this year that have three pound minimums. Oh, okay. You know, and then we might have tournaments this year that have one pound minimum. So it's a variable weight minimum. Um, depending on the lake. I mean, if you go to the Ohio River, you can't make it a two pound minimum because no one, even no one would catch a two pounder. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I grew up fishing it, you know, six pounds in a BFL would, would win a lot of times. So, um, no, so I, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's, 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 it's so great because each lake is so different. You know, I think that's what the biggest thing is like. You go to certain lakes and, uh, you know, forcing you to target, you know, a quality fish. And, and, and Okeechobee right now, a two-pounder, you can't just go out there and target two-pounders. If you're targeting two-pounders, you're targeting fours, fives, sixes, and sevens. And so that's a cool thing. And the only thing that's been a little bit tougher because of the conditions, a lot of these fish that are up right now, they're like end of spawn, post spawn. So you're catching 17-inch fish that are pound 15, pound 14 where today they just started more coming up and I started catching fish that were fat and they were those fish were 15 inches that were weighing two and a quarter yeah so that's what you had to have happen we needed a new wave to come up and I think in a couple areas throughout the lake it's happening now sounds like uh, Tuesday could be a lot of fun if the weather's good then I I, I have someone is going to absolutely just obliterate them on Tuesday and Wednesday could potentially be even better well you're going for two in a row <laughs> that's a plan we don't we got if there's somebody that can do it, you can do it. You know that. I, I, I'm, ex I'm excited to get out there. I, I feel like, uh, man, I, I have a good chance as any. So let's. Did happens. you not get my text? I say congratulations. Dude, I, I have well, hold on, 82 wait. million texts. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see here. Look and say, see if it says Steve. Ch I have I, you 405 probably... unread texts. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> so, so I texted you <laughs> to say congratulations, I know, and I'm just, like, it's uh, my, it's my, it's my. I just, I, I, you know, this is the thing. It's so hard to, you know, do the YouTube thing. Uh, By the way, you're killing. I texted you on the YouTube thing. I saw you on the YouTube creator thing, and I texted you saying, "Yeah, I remember seeing yes. that." I did text you. Back Congratulations back. on that. Man. Yeah, Brody's doing a great job. Brody's doing a great Brody, job. Brody's knocking it out. So, uh, 
uh, Birdie's helping me out, man, knocking it out. And uh, so I've known Birdie since I was like 12. Well, actually, like 15, he was 12. So we've been fishing and shooting with each other actually in juniors for tournaments from back in the end. So that's sort of a crazy deal how it went full circle. And now he's on the road with me. And that's awesome. We just have a good you guys time. are doing a great job. We've As someone who's trying to make a YouTube channel and it's been eight months, I like watching your shit. Excuse me, your stuff. I'll bleep <laughs> that. It's just me. <laughs> okay, good luck. Thank you. Brody, nice meeting you. Thank, thank you, dude. Thank oh, you so much. Yeah. check out his YouTube channel. Absolutely. Jamie check Miller out fishing. Check it out. Twitter, Instagram. I, I tweet a little bit, but definitely check out the YouTube side because we're going to have videos up of this tournament and we have tournament videos of you follow up. Yeah, I saw part that one, is, I think. Uh, Part one and part two just were dropped yesterday. So okay. we have the championship day. Uh, so you're going to see some content that you did not get to see on live. So that's some good stuff. Trust me, you're going to want to watch it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, day two for group A is finished. I got to talk to a few guys. I'd love to say I got to talk to everybody who was on my list because I made a list of questions that I wanted to ask Boyd and other people. But quite honestly, they have a new way of doing things here at Major League Fishing that doesn't really make it real easy for media. You know, they have their own stuff going on, but these guys are coming through the area and then they're just booking right out of it. And as a media person and someone who drove, now I've driven, you know, it was it was five hours of driving yesterday and it was another four hours, four and a half hours today it just isn't real conducive to media people uh, and that's very disappointing because uh, you know I enjoy talking to these guys and and trying to get the content out there so I'm gonna try again tomorrow I'm gonna try again on Tuesday tomorrow I'm going uh, fishing and uh, you know Hopefully this turns out good, but I appreciate everyone watching and being part of the family. And if you want some prize packs, email us info at fishingfloridaradio.com or you can go directly to our Facebook page and that's facebook.com slash fishing Florida and we'll put you on the prize pack list. But remember, if you email us or send us a private message on Facebook, send your address and be patient. There's a lot of people that request the prize packs, but you'll get put on it and you will get something. There's a bunch that are great. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this and send a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see. Tell me if there's somebody specific you'd like me to go interview or if you have a question for someone. I'd love to uh, try to get that done for you if possible. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out if there's a way to get Boyd and some other these, some other these guys over the next couple days because I got a lot of questions for Boyd, but I think you'll see a great interview from Shaw, and Shaw's just the best. So again, thanks for watching. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on, and we will see you soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks again. Seriously. Mm -hmm.